Day four of GarageBand class for summer school. Hey there, DJs. Hope you're having a good morning so far. And we're going to jump in today with a little drumming. So let's go back to GarageBand and make me a new song plus sign. I told you this would get easier as we went. Uh, we are done with live loops for today. So we're going to toggle over to tracks. First time, I know, and you've got a lot of instruments that you can play with. I want you to keep sliding until you find drums. There we are. And on the drums, uh, I see smart drums, acoustic drums, beat sequencer, and more sounds. We are going with beat sweet sequencer today. Sorry, I said that funny. Beat sequencer. So when you click on beat sequencer, you will see a screen that looks like mine. Now we've got some options. We've got a bass drum, got a snare drum, have some clap in your hands, two different types of hi-hats, a tom-tom drum, another snare drum, or you can just tap the six. So these are the options that you can make on your drum set, and you're just going to activate. Each one of these squares is a beat. So if I want two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all of my bass drums, I've got 16 beats to play with. They're all divided up here by uh, four beat measures for you. Um, that's what this guy here was on like. So I'm just going to highlight some things so you get an idea of what's happening. Yours will be tremendously more artful than mine because I'm sure you're going to listen and make changes uh, to make it sound the best that you can. And when I'm ready to start and stop my sounds, again, I'm not recording, this is my experimenting phase, I'm doing the power button that is down at the bottom right in the middle. So I'll turn it on again for you. You can see it's bright green. And then when I want to turn it off. So you can change your sounds while this is going to find the one that you like. This one's lots of fun with. I, I can experiment on here for quite some time. So you're going to play around with your different sounds. And the same as we've done for the past couple days, you're going to record, rename, and turn into uh, Google Classroom. So red circle still hits record for me. When my eight beats are full, that's going to be the end of it because that's how long I told mine to go. If you want yours to be longer, you can always hit the bless sign over here and you can decide to make it longer. I think eight beats is great. That's all the longer that I need. But if you want more time, you go for it, DJs. Do your thing. So we're going to go back to the main menu to save that song we recorded. We will tap and hold to rename. And this was drum beat was the name of this project. We will tap and hold to share. You should turn it in as a song. If you turn it as a project, I will know because I won't be able to listen to it. It'd be very sad. Share in the corner. And then we're into Google Classroom. That should be enabled because we've been doing it for the past two days. And then make sure that this classroom is the correct one. It should say GarageBand Summer School 2020 those words in whatever order, uh, assign it to the project that says build a drum beat, and then you are good to go. Enjoy.